The following is classified audio. Only qualified agents may listen past this point. The Administration, Episode 12, Pyrrhic. Mission report. Mission IC-1609B. Agent Red reporting. The intel on this one is pretty solid. Actually, thank the kid for me. Yeah. Right. We got victim reports from her last five victims. Although... Huh? Yeah. It seems like the anomaly is not really seeking people out. That's unusual. Yeah. I mean, I'm still gonna bring her in because she absolutely does have victims here, but... I don't know. It'll probably just be harder to find her if she isn't actively going for people. We don't actually know where she's holded up, but all of her victim reports are pretty much in the same area. So that narrows it down. I'm going to go scout it out, see if I can figure out anything. Got anything else for me before I head out, Oculus? Cool, I... Oh, hang on. Yeah. Hey. Hey. I'm here. You just want me to talk for a minute? Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. I can tell you. Oh. Sorry. I forgot to stop the recorder. Give me just a sec. Right. Sorry about that. Violet needed to talk. Um. What was I saying before? Oh, right. Thanks, Oculus. Yeah, I should check out the area really quick. I'm gonna look through these reports and see if I can find any small area than just the east part of town. There's gotta be some closer correlation, right? Okay, great. So, five of these are within a nine square block area. So, not as much ground to cover, which is helpful. Cool. I'm gonna head out to scout around a bit. See if I can wrestle up a victim's address or two so I can talk to them one on one. See if they have any more insight than they reported. A uh, report over by Oculus. And I'd really appreciate it. Thank you. Huh? What's... Oh, Oculus. You were recording? Oh. Did you want me to do a mission report? Yeah? That's my bad. Sorry, doll. Uh, mission report to mission IC-1609B. Agent Red reporting. I'm currently on location in the area where the anomaly was reported. Just finished talking to one of the victims whose address we had on file. She couldn't remember any more than she reported, but she said she'd call the burner that the boss gave me if she did end up remembering something useful. Uh, let's see here. What's that? 
Come on, Oculus. You know I can't understand the static. What I said was... Are you not angry with me anymore? No, Oculus, no. I'm not mad at you anymore. Violet... Uh, Violet told me why. And with the whole incident... I can't waste that energy on being mad at you. It doesn't get either of us anywhere. You did not apologize for the things you said to me. Yeah? Well, you didn't either. Besides, seems like neither of us is all that sorry about it. Just don't want to continue fighting. If we don't need to at all. Agent Blue did not inform me that she had spoken to you. I hope she did not go beyond decorum. Nah. She just told me to lay off. Told me you had your reasons. It's fine. When did she speak with you? You heard me picking up the phone, kid. Why do you continue calling me this nickname? You know my feelings on the topic. Sorry. Force of habit. It won't happen again, Oculus. I suspect it will, despite your word. Speaking in this manner grows tiring. You understand that sending my voice to you is a waste of my power, correct? Sorry, sorry. Seems like this conversation was best had with me understanding what you were saying. No, no. I get it, okay? Um... I'm gonna go head back, make a report in the room. Yeah. Cool. Report over. Hey, Oculus, could you not mention a vi that I told you she talked to me? I'll take that as a yes, then. Thanks, kid. Shit. Sorry. Didn't mean to. Right. Mission report. Uh, report 3. Mission IC-1609B. Agent Red reporting. No sign of the anomaly herself just yet, but the location is confirmed. I only interviewed a couple of the victims, but most of them couldn't remember anything useful than what they already reported. A physical description matches that from the reports, but one of these victims, knew her personally, was able to tell me more about her. The files didn't have her name, so I don't know if you want it, but Fiona Winters. Her name is was Fiona Winters not in contact with her family until well the victim was there at the hospital they uh they saw the doctors give up her name declared her dead they also saw her walk out afterwards I they told me that when she saw them again, she, she didn't seem to recognize them. Why wouldn't she recognize them? Is it... We had her in before, right? She came in of her own accord. We knew that she could survive dying. But we didn't know anything about the loss of memory, did we? It's not 
in the notes is something else. No, you're right. Um, I'm gonna head out. See if I can cut her off. We're bringing her in. Right? I just need to knock her out. She didn't cuff her though, yeah. That'll probably kill her. Well, for real this time. Yep, that might not have a hand free. So, Colin 15, yeah. It'll be easier if I don't know, if I don't have to record myself. Report over. Come on! We could do this peacefully! You know us! You could have been one of us! of speech. What's wrong? You shouldn't be deteriorating like this. Just come with me. We won't cuff you. We won't let you come to harm. We just want to keep other people out of your range. Miss Winters, I don't want to have to hurt you. But if you don't come along peacefully, I'm afraid you... <clears throat> oh, Gilas. Don't <clears throat> send help. I can get her. Call you back later. Just, uh, Would you just... <laughs> woo! Woo! Okay. Mission report. Mission IC-1609B. Agent Red reporting. <laughs> just sent the gal in. Mission went pretty well, all things considered. I mean, I knocked the girl unconscious. I don't think she understood anything I was saying by the end there, so I didn't have much of a choice, but you know. You know, it's weird. She's not supposed to lose cognitive functions like that, right? She's supposed to, I don't know, stay the same? Her power is supposed to preserve her. She died, sure, but that's... That was it? Because she was running on magic. Raw magic like that. Instead of electricity letting her move around, and she didn't even rot. If it could keep her body from decaying, how could it not keep her mind safe? That was a... There was nothing going on behind her eyes. Nothing, Oculus. I don't have that energy to figure out what you might have meant by that. You could have just actually called me, you know. It is still a waste of my power to do this. Make house calls, as Agent Blue would refer to it. I mean, with like, a phone. But it's nice of you to do this anyways, Oculus. You know why I cannot do that. 
It is not as if there were any phones on the premises, even if I were able to. So it is also a moot point. What about my burner? Well, thanks then. Yes. You had asked about Mrs. Winters. The reason for the decay of her mental faculties. Though this was not a recorded effect of her abilities, it is not an unexpected one. You know the effects of magic on the brain. If you do not remember, you also know who you may ask about the subject. It is not as though you have a lack of resources on the topic. The effects can be seen even when one is just around enough magic. For all the electrical impulse in the body to be replaced by it, this is not unforeseen. You must have known this is what you could have discovered upon making it here. Yeah, you're right. I am. Um... <laughs> Probably should have known. Sorry, kid. You said you would not call me this anymore. Shit. Sorry, Oculus. You alright? Gotcha. No worries. Oculus, rest up. Yeah. Can't have you collapsing on us. Whole damn agency would probably go down. Huh. <laughs> uh, agent injuries. I'm not hurt too bad. No bleeding, at least. I'll be bruised black and blue tomorrow, but she never broke the skin. If I really needed it, I could just have someone heal me up, but I don't think I'll come to that. Uh, hey, don't let Violet worry about me too much. Yeah, tell her it looks worse than it is. Thanks, Oculus. Report over. The administration is written and produced by Katie Gross. The theme song was written by Katie Gross. Agent Red is voiced by Serenity. Oculus is voiced by Woxie. The voice of the narrator is Katie Gross. Sound effects are provided by Pixabay. Hey agents, Katie Gross here again. Hope y'all enjoyed the second episode in the second half of season one. As always, new episodes wherever your podcasts are found. If you need to find us, check out our Tumblr, at AdminPod, or our email inbox is always open at adpodbusiness at gmail.com. You can also come chat with us over on the official AdminPod Discord server. Report over.